Lions, we are back here in the London Music Hall. Scott Hunter now being rejoined by first. Casey Andrews. From I had to take care of some business there, Scott. Winging at 225 pounds, Psycho Mike! And we are here now for the Psycho Mike Body Slam Invitational, where apparently the rules are whatever Psycho Mike says. I was handed a booklet earlier today oh. with the rules of Psycho Mike's Body Slam Invitational. And it was literally just that phrase over and over and over. Well, you know what, Casey? I'm a little bit pissed off because Psycho Mike usually hands his notebooks to me. Well, there's a new kid in town. Yeah, you can carry my bags with the book when you're done. Psycho Mike. I, I don't know what we're about to watch. I never know what we're about to watch with Psycho Mike. And I've, I've been on the other hand of it. As someone who has been a unwilling victim of Psycho Mike's shenanigans. Introducing participant number one from London, Ontario. Weighing it at 191 pounds, the Punjabi prodigy, Vikram Prashir. For sure, this is this is his first time stepping foot in a Smash Wrestling ring, but he's stepping in there against Psycho Mike in a match where the rules are of Psycho Mike's creation, and he could change them at any time, and we would never know. Well, it, it's true. Now here's the thing, Scott. I I don't really have much in the way of notes on Vikram Brashear yet. He is he's relatively new to the wrestling industry. But I don't think it's going to matter in this case. Okay, so you have zero notes whatsoever here today, actually. Mental notes. Announced from London and uh, yet not getting a reception as, as London would. Officials calling for a bell, and I haven't heard one yet. Perhaps that's one of Mike's rules. There is no bell. Maybe he's summoning the bell. There it is. Oh, there it is. We're there we underway. Now it's official. I don't. Psycho Mike taking his time. He's he's trying to bait Vikramir into a Greco-Roman knuckle walk and going for a body slam here. I assume Casey, it's a body slam ends ends the match. You know, I really don't know, but either way, Psycho Mike's clearly now working by the hour, Scott. So. Well, he's going. I think he's going for a body slam. The official can can can, can he be disqualified? Is that a rule? I, does the official know the rules? He's just counting for his life. Like, I don't know. Vikram is just, just wrapped up in the ropes. Good Lord, just road dogging it on the middle rope here. You know, there is a chance that Psycho Mike could just fire the referee. Well, that's a man's livelihood we're talking about. Not if he unfires him. Psycho Mike looks pissed. And you can see... Mike going for the, that, that body slam early. It is a body slam here. Not trying to back his way in. Oh, he draws a sneak attack. He's going for a sneak attack. And just chasing him all over the ring. I got to give Vikram Prashir credit here. His, his defense has been impeccable. His defense has been to run away. Oh, I thought Mike was going for a springboard there. And now Vic, Vikram, this is like a... There's a couple of toddlers playing tag. What the hell is going on in this matchup? This is Psycho Mike's foot race now. He's falling farther and farther behind. I, I don't know if he's trying to win or not. I don't know if he knows what he's trying to do. Oh! The oh, old the switcheroo! And Vikram, oh, get, I don't know if he caught all of them with that elbow. He hurt his own elbow there. Must have uh, been on that giant lot. Everyone here in London wants to see a bicep. Oh, it's... A little tickle. And going for a bison. Oh, Vikram fights his way out of it. Forearm you shot you right to the hit face of Psycho one. Mike. You get hit by Psycho Mike. Oh, and delivering a knee right to the nose. And for sure sending Mike into the corner now. But now he's going for a cover. Is that 
Is this standard rules? I don't know. Uh, Mike gets a shoulder up, perhaps on instinct. I don't, I don't know what. I, again, we have no idea, fans, the rules of this matchup, other it, than that Psycho Mike's allowed to make them up. It appears to have settled into a standard wrestling match for the time being, Scott, but that could change at any time. Uh, it, it, if Psycho Mike is involved, it will change at any time. Whatever happened to his conscience? Did he ever find it? I, I, I have no idea. Again, <laughs> the only offensive maneuver Psycho Mike has gone for this entire match has been a body slam. Is that all he's allowed to do in a matchup like this? I mean, have you seen his Twitter? Did he lose that too? Uh, oh, and Vikram now trying to rub it in, just almost taunting Psycho Mike with a bridge there. Mike trying to crawl, he's dead center of the ring, and Vicar's trying to rip apart the knee of Psycho Mike here. Now, I hate to say it, Scott, but this is good strategy, because if you don't have legs, you can't body slam. Is it, though? We don't know the rules. Uh, what kind of strategy can you have in this match? I think that the strategy uh -oh. is well, don't get body slam. Well, this was a dumb part of the strategy, of taking your eye off the ball here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! <laughs> the bell, I think. Is it over? Vikram Prashir is dead. I think he's going to get a second one. This is the most, this is the damnedest thing I've seen today, Scott. I, is this match over? Apparently not. Okay. Uh, the official calling for the bell because Vikram Prashir has not moved. And now Psycho uh -oh. Mike is checking in on the, the well-being. The referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner of the fall, Psycho Mike. This, this could be Sir Vikram Prashir has not moved. Hey, he's dead. You, you mentioned that, yes. So I'm pretty sure Psycho Mike's wanted for murder right now. He seems very jubilant for it. Uh, do we need an oh. ambulance or police? We've got motion here. <laughs> Psycho Mike looks incensed at the fact that Vikram Prashir is, is moving. You hate to see it. You, you hate to see a young career cut short at the hands of such a vicious maneuver. The hazards are real. I'm starting to think that perhaps the body slam should be out, outlawed. Listen, Casey, just because you can hop in the ring with Ali doesn't mean you can box. So, wait, are we going again? At I guess so. I, again, I don't know the rules. It looks like we this have another opponent. This is contestant number two. Contestant number From two of how many? I don't understand, Scott. Weighing it at oh, 195 pounds, Bryce Hansen. Now, Bryce no, Hansen, no relation to the Van Hansen. Sure, well, the haircut might fool you, though. But he does have a relatively low center of gravity based on the balls it takes to wear that haircut. I mean, a fair, fair point. The one that I certainly could not pull off. Entering a body slam challenge here. Now, if you're Bryce Hansen, and you just saw what happened to Vikram Prashir, you're either terrified or you have a plan. Right, yeah, a life insurance plan, hopefully. Yeah. And hang on a second here, Psycho Mike. He's going to take the fight to Hansen. He just said he's going to buy some to Oblivion. Where, I can't, is, where is it? I can't believe he used Oblivion correctly. Oh, don't let the index fool you. Psycho Mike is, is an incredibly attention. Uh oh. That chop did not only hurt Psycho Mike, it hurt, his, it hurt his feelings as well. The abs are twitching. He's in tears. He's changed his trunk somehow, Scott. What the hell? Oh, no. Psycho Mike doesn't want to continue. I don't blame him. That looked like it hurt. I mean, this is his choice. And now, the London Music Hall in unison demanding an apology from Hanson. Mike's going to take his ball and go home here. I mean, he could just declare himself the winner, couldn't he? 
<laughs> he got an apology. And yep. it, it looks like it's not. It looks like the apology is not good enough, or perhaps it is. As Mike now returning into the ring. Are they chanting "Hug it out"? Yeah. Uh, this is a trap. It's. It's not. This is a. This is a real. This is a. This is a great. What a great moment. What a great moment. Pig truck. I know. Uh oh. I got look at look at the uh -oh. eye of Mike. Hang on a second. I'm sorry. I love you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, is no! And he just broke the butthole of Hanson on that one. Probably. How could you know that? He's, oh, he's not done. Looking for another one. Oh, devastating. Young Hansen here. How is this kid moving? And you can see, you can see Hansen. He's wiggling those fingers, trying to see if he can get some feeling back into them. We need to start taking into account the age of these competitors. They had such bright futures, Scott. Had being the operative word here. Oh, oh, hard body slam. God, somebody stop done. this. Oh, body slam. This is Symphony from Psycho Mike. I've lost count, Scott. I don't know what's going on. I've lost count as well. This referee's an asshole for keeping this match going. Oh, he's tapping out. Oh, he tapped what out. Chance it's smart enough to tap out. The second fall is awarded to Psycho Mike by Tap Out. I have never seen someone tap out to a flurry of body slams before, and then Psycho Mike just gonna gently tap him down, and he's like, he looks upset that he didn't get to keep going. You know, I don't think Psycho Mike ever properly uh, recovered emotionally from that slap. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop in the name of the law! The law. I, I knew he was wanted for, for murder. For those of I you who it. don't know who I am, my name is Litigator Luke, the premier legal representation for the Ontario wrestling industry. And I also happen to be the man who writes up all the contracts and sanctions each and every one of these matches. I gotta talk to you about my uh, envelope. And guess what? The two disgusting, abhorrent displays you just witnessed, these were not sanctioned official events, buddy. If you look on the event page, it says, Invitational Challenge. Sounds like some very vague wording to weasel your way into two unofficial matches, and I won't stand for it. He's got a point, Scott. I hate to say it, but he has a point. Folks, the law is sacred. I'm not going to have you boo it. But, hey, hey, hey. Fans if you like hate Psycho the Mike so much, I got some decent news for you. Try being a superhero. You do have one more match that is officially sanctioned by moi. Whoa, Nelly. Not going to happen. So, here's the deal. On that contract, which I'm sure you neglected to read, if you even can read, the fine print says, no body slams allowed. Oh, oh this is devastating. Deal with it. So without further ado, let's get opponent number three in that ring. That is 100% of Psycho Mike's offense now removed, along with his trunks. Introducing participant number three. What are we going to do here, from Scott? From Detroit, I mean, Michigan. We're trying to have a... Weighing at 250 oh, pounds. My God, look at the size this of this guy. How much Kyle. does this guy weigh? The other guy looked like a businessman. You know, litigator Luke made a lot of good points for what it's worth. But this may be... 
stacking the deck a little high. This is an absolute colossus of a man and Karam. Now we're getting a match here where again fans, the body slam has been outlawed. This, this might be the end of Psycho Mike. This might be the beginning of Karam. There's the bell. And I, Psycho Mike, there's no way he's prepared for this matchup. Mike seems to be in disbelief of how mean Karam is. To be fair, it's very rare that people are mean to Psycho Mike. Now Karam perhaps issuing an apology here with a handshake. Oh, what a dick. This is unbelievable. First the body slam is outlawed. Now Psycho Mike's feelings are hurt. Somebody stop the damn match, Scott. Yeah, there are things that are bigger than wrestling. <laughs> now, he can't do a body slam, so he's got to switch up his offense. And I can guarantee you Coran was not prepared for a snapmare from Psycho Mike here tonight. I happen to know that Psycho Mike is a old-time master of the cravat, which is step one of the snapmare. Forearm to the face here from Karim. Look at the size of this guy. And Mike, he's going to Mike driving over the party slam. Oh, don't do it, Mike. Mike. Don't do don't it. Don't do it. Figure your future. My God, you want to go to jail in London? Nobody wants to go to jail in London. Well, he's up, hopping for, for move number two in his repertoire, the Greco-Roman knuckle lock. I don't know if you want to do that against a man this size. Whoa! And here we go, both these, both these colossal men clashing in the center of the ring in a match where again, Casey the body slam has been outlawed and Mike. Psycho Mike has never been in this vulnerable a position. He has been dropped down to his knees by his the power knees. of Karam. His knees. Thought I heard that correctly. Oh, oh no! no don't do Mike, it, don't Mike. do it! He's going for the body slam on instinct, and now the officials explain to him you can't, you can't do it. Mike just said he doesn't want to go to jail. He understands what's at stake here. I do not blame him one bit. That would be horrible. Although if we called the London police, it would take them three days to show up, so we'd probably be fine. Side headlock now applied by Psycho Mike. Shots fired at London. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Whoa. Delivering the shoulder here. Both these men. This is the un unstoppable force meeting the immovable object. Scott, this might be death by a thousand cuts. But for whom? Well, Psycho Mike looks, looks like he, this is his third match of the night, we, we should point out. He, he's definitely gassing out. He's about to take a nap here. Psycho Mike looking like Brickhouse Mick here. And Karam looks confused. Almost annoyed at the antics of Psycho Mike. And yeah, he's snoozing. I've been there. I've been there. Yeah, we saw you earlier. I'm, I'm talking more about the annoyed at Psycho Mike part, but... Oh. Jaw. And can Psycho Mike win a match without the body slam, Casey? Is this why Psycho Mike has a Rolodex with him? Oh! And that knocked him all cattywampus outside of the ring. Did you just say cattywampus? Uh, I sure did. Karay, I'm not making a lot of fans uh, or friends here tonight in London. I don't think he cares. 
showing off again to the crowd. Now, the official is counting. Is this a standard wrestling match, according to litigator Luke? I, I believe I believe that was the, the my understanding of this matchup, is a, is a traditional wrestling match where a body slam has been outlawed by penalty of, of, of jail time. I didn't know he had that much power. <laughs> the last guy that had that much power in Ontario Indie Wrestling was Ken Hayashi, and he was dishing out licenses. It's a, it's a deep cut for you there, Scott. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea what you're talking about, but back to the action inside the ring. Forearm shot, and that knocks Rollins into the corner here. Psycho Mike in trouble, and whoa, you hear the sound of that chop echoing throughout the London Music Hall. That and wasn't so much a slap as it was a thud, and you know those hurt more. And he's just raking the eyes. Actually, I don't know, but I'm sure you I can do. show you. Mike's eyes being raked across that top rope. And another one, and another vicious thud. Now, you've got to feel for Psycho Mike here for a second, Scott, because imagine you've spent countless hours rebuilding a beautiful car. I don't know how to build a car. And then you can't body slam it. Yeah, I guess that would suck. Cover, hang on two. Kick out there from Rollins, able to roll the shoulder up. And Rollins is in deep trouble. Again, he doesn't know what offense to go to here, Casey. You can't take a man's literal one move away and expect him to do well. This is the end of Psycho Mike. Big boot. Up and over. And again, here comes the athleticism of Psycho Mike. Whoa. With a head of steam here. Oh, whoa, 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 he this is a pickup. That could be a body slam. Karam needs to be careful. Oh, oh a fall, fall away, away slam. slam. Very close there. You need to be careful because the no body slam rule does go both ways. Karam just sizing up Psycho Mike now. When's just, the last time we saw Psycho Mike in this much trouble, Scott? I, it's been a long time, at least three years. Oh, <laughs> sidewalk slam. Cover here, leg hook, two and no! Mike barely able to roll his shoulder up off the canvas. This match stays alive, but at what cost? You know, at a certain point, this just becomes torture for the sake of torture, Scott. But a statement being made by Karim. What did they view this as to take the fight to someone like Psycho Mike, a stalwart here in Smash Wrestling? And now mocking. Did Karim just call for a body slam? No, Is he trying to get arrested? He's just mocking Psycho Mike and the fans here in London. Disgusting. I, for one, am appalled. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Body slam. Referee, ring the damn bell! Wait a minute. Referee, ring the bell. This should be over. That was a banned maneuver. He's going to recover here. Two. And Rollins gets a foot and two hands on the ropes. Only one of them needs to touch him, but he wanted to make extra sure the referee saw it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what the rules are anymore because I thought the body slam was outlawed. Call the cops. I preemptively called them two days ago. A sleeper hold now being applied. As now, Karam tries to wear down Psycho Mike. Karam does have that locked in deep. You can actually see it is on the chin, not on the throat. So it's not an illegal choke, which I don't think matters at this point, but it is a blood cutoff as opposed to an air pipe cutoff. And Mike trying to fight his way out of this hole. Oh, he again, it and up. now that one's in deep. And Mike trying to power his way out of it, he does. Cradle backdrop there. Psycho Mike is actually impressing me with the amount of moves he knows. I think we're up to 12. And he hasn't used the arm bar once. And Rollins rolls his way into a cover. Referee at a count of three now. As he's trying to get this action back on its feet. And Psycho Mike, Casey, again, this is Psycho Mike's third matchup tonight. Say what you will about his first two opponents. I'm just gonna say it, I wanna see a body slam. 
we'll deal with the legal ramifications later, Scott, but I want to see a body well, slam from Psycho Mike. That is easy for you to say, being the one that's not under threat of prison. I will harbor Psycho Mike. Oh, that would be aiding and abetting. Oh, oh. What a kick there! Psycho Mike made his own high rent district there. And there's the athleticism of Psycho Mike. I haven't seen him pull that one out. Whoa! The pump kick missing. Oh, Harry! Oh, he from... said right up. No kidding. He might be out. This one's over. Or is it? Mike gets the shoulder up, and Karam can't believe it. Well, the London Music Hall is staunchly behind Psycho Mike. No surprise there, but that's a little harsh to say you can't beat him. Chance if you can't beat him echoing throughout the London Music Hall here. And it's got to be getting under the skin and into the head of Karam. It appears we have a dead weight Psycho Mike right now. I mean, he got the shoulder up, but he, he he's in trouble here. Oh! Karam delivers an elbow drop right to the heart of Psycho Mike. Are we sure that he has a heart? Yeah, he, we saw his feelings get hurt earlier. Well, he's a well-oiled machine. Chop there. I got you there. To the chest. Oh! No, I'm just choosing to ignore you. That's the next layer there. Pump oh, kick! the dreaded pump kick. Unbelievable. I forgot that that one's in his... Whoa, we've got a fisherman buster. Is that going to do it? Two, three. Yeah, Psycho Mike picks up the win. No, Bobby the winner Slam of the fall And the winner of the Psycho Mike Body Slam Challenge, Psycho Mike. You know, it's a good thing he was able to pull that off, Scott, because if you lose a match that's named after you, you cannot live that down. Cut the music. Cut. The music! Get a mic, you don't have to yell. I'm just gonna say it, I don't like this guy. Check, 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 hello? Okay, you know what? I was thinking maybe I'll be lenient. Maybe I'll give you a chance to defend yourself, but you know what? After much deliberation, I've come to realize justice is blind and the hammer of justice is swift and must be carried out. So when I'm done with you, buddy, you're gonna be spending a year in the courts answering for your crimes. But, whoa, 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 because I am a fair and just and unbiased man, let me give him a chance to defend himself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Psycho Mike, what do you say in your defense. Who wants to see a body slam? Oh, wait a minute! I, for one, want to see a body slam, Scott. Wrong! Wrong! Oh, dear Michael, if you want to add another crime to your list, that I am going to prosecute against you, you go right ahead. But you know what? The truth is, you fear me and you fear the law. So when I'm done, you are never gonna step foot inside a smash wrestling ring and you're never gonna set foot in this building unless you're flipping burgers at the a and pickup window. That's a good job. Shout out a &W. So let me leave you with this. Two pieces of advice. Lawyer up. That's only one. calls himself a lawyer, but he doesn't know how to count. Uh-oh, Psycho Mike being arrested by the invisible police. They're much faster. Oh my God, the invisible police have Psycho Mike. He's going to invisible jail. Oh God, don't let the invisible police arrest oh no. my friend. Psycho Mike's going to invisible jail. We need to get Psycho Mike an invisible lawyer. Oh, he's being hauled off, come on! Well, he's not gonna let them take him alive, I can guarantee you that. I mean, at least we haven't seen any invisible police brutality as of yet.